Does it allow it to have more flight, less flight, more drag, less drag to the wood, to the arrowhead? How aerodynamic is it? Aerodynamic, right? So things change back and forth. It's up to us as the historians to dig deep and try to figure out where exactly it lands. All from the bow. Try to research that. Weapons. If you follow a weapon throughout history, it'll lead you to all parts of the world that have, may have used it or had different variations of it. They had no contact at all. I mean, yeah, we're going to do more deeper and more synthetic and non-synthetic. What differs in between the bows and what's real, what's non-real, what's made, right? Synthetic, what's made, what part of history was made to fit this in terms of the bow. We're going to have a deeper series on it. It's going to go a lot longer. We're going to have this bow, this bow, this bow, and it's going to, we're going to try to do evolutions of it. But this is just a small taste of what we're going to be doing on the bow and the arrows. Today's just an introduction to all of that. Something to think about. Let us know, like, and subscribe. Check us out on Rumble. Till next time, guys.